Digital Innovation Hub. Hello, my name is George Justice Kanyehamba, a volunteer at the Uganda Red Cross Society, Kampala East Branch. My innovation idea is to create a digital-based economy, which economy is going to be a mimic of the physical or traditional economy. Now, the link to the COVID-19 pandemic, I explained to you in my first video how the businesses were affected, how the economy at large was affected, not only in Uganda, but even Africa as, as a continent. That's why I'm coming up with a digital market, with a copy and paste of the physical economic activity to be copied to digital technologies. Now, research shows that countries that have really utilized digital technologies will have recovered faster from the impact of COVID-19. Look at United Kingdom, look at Japan, look at China, look at Singapore. All these different countries have just used digital technologies that I'm going to be showing you on my screen to recover faster from the impact of COVID-19. So my plan is to create a digital-based economy that has services that you are seeing on your screen, where you can shop, where you can find a job, where you can create your own shop. Now, the process of designing my prototype draws its way back from my world innovation journey, my world innovation process. I have been able to use think design as one of the methods that was mentioned in the sessions that were taught to us in the webinars. Now, design thinking as a method has enabled me. Now, before even I reach the pro to the step of prototyping, I first of all did the desktop research. I did create my personas and value proposition. I had to reach a prototyping and testing and then come with the validation stage. I'm going to be taking you this as you see on your screen. I used, first of all, I had to do the paper prototyping and what we could call a wireframing. And even before that, I had to do the desktop research first of all. Under the desktop research, I had to do trip work. I had to do preparation, enough preparation as needed. The mapping, to use some mapping tools to map out my plans. Now, I had to do design thinking as I mentioned earlier. In design thinking, I had to do ideation or ideation phase and use the goal sheet. I fill my goal sheet and be able to use this to find out my customer segment. Now, from that process, from that stage, I had to proceed to creating my persona and value proposition. I began with paper prototyping, uh, digital prototyping. From prototyping, I proceeded to testing, um, testing that, that is interviewing and data correction so that I can be able to find out the usability, the feasibility, UX, and UI. So if you might look at this, after correcting my data, I had to make I had to do code design, sustainable development goals, the youth SDGs, and the Ministry of ICT and Technology in Uganda, which has also Uganda Digital Vision. The National Development Plan also speaks about the use of technology. Innovation changes the world, and if you are really serious, in this digital era, about the future of, of the coming generations, then we have to invest all we have, our passion, our resources, our energy, our knowledge in digital technologies so that the coming generations, our sons and daughters, our grandsons and daughters can also benefit and get the further funding. I want to transform this idea into a reality that I again engage my stakeholders from testing my prototype. The findings are that from the data I collected from the field, yeah, people and businesses are really interested. Most people are interested in this innovative idea. However, the problem they are mentioning is they do not know how to use this technology. Burden rising us to teach them how to use these technologies. One, they complain about the mobile data, which is a bit expensive in Uganda compared to other countries. And with the threat of COVID-19, as to fulfill the UN Sustainable Development Goals, the Vision 2030, the National Development Plans, all these development programs, we just have to link on the power of technology. 
to recover faster from the impact of COVID-19. And technology will be a robust and backup plan for us to have a digital-based economy. So we are going to first to uh, we are going to first implement this in urban centers in Uganda, and then after we shall have to uh, spread this throughout the whole country, and then spread this throughout the whole continent, Africa, and then we shall have to spread this in the whole world. Together, we are limitless.